Vangili and we're going to make curambiadas today. The ingredients for your curambiadas are 1 half cup of powdered sugar. You'll need to make some clarified butter which is 2 pounds plus 1 sick of salted butter. 2 teaspoons of grated orange zest. 3 egg yolks. 1 ounce of whiskey. 1 teaspoon of baking soda. A fourth a teaspoon of ground clove, eight cups of sifted flour, and two cups of slivered almonds. The first step in making your curambiadas today is to soften your clarified butter at room temperature in your mixer on a medium speed. Whip it until it's light and fluffy, almost like a meringue. The next step is to slowly add your powdered sugar into your clarified butter mixture. Allow this to blend and occasionally it's best to get a spatula and scoop the outside of your, your blender so it all gets incorporated nicely. Next we're going to carefully add our orange zest. the soda, and the three egg yolks, and gently blend these ingredients together for a nice soft consistency. Our sifted flour into the mixture and while you're doing this after about the third or fourth cup of flour it's best to start slowly also adding the whiskey. A little whiskey at a time and a little bit more flour. You may not need all eight cups of flour as originally stated in the recipe. After about the sixth cup of flour and you get it in your mixer, this is when you should be really careful to start monitoring the consistency of your dough. My dough right now, I can roll it into a ball and I can also make it into a shape. So this is the perfect consistency to make your curambiadas. The final step in making your curambiadas today is to add our raw slivered almonds and incorporate those slivered almonds into your dough thoroughly. Now it's time to roll our curambiadas. Take your dough and roll it into a ball. It's best to roll it and get nice and warm into your hands. It helps melt the butter a little bit for better shaping. Roll your dough, shape your cookie, you can do lots of different shapes. I personally prefer this shape. Use your hands on both sides. Make it nice and smooth and lay it in your pan. And you can lay it side by side in your pan like this because they're not gonna, they're not gonna expand, they're gonna rise. So you have plenty of room on your pan to make all your cookies. It's time to bake our cookies. Place them in a 320 degree oven, preheated. approximately 35-40 minutes and keep an eye on them because you want to get them nice and golden brown. This is the final step. I've just taken my cookies out of the oven about 10 minutes ago. They're a little bit warm. The best thing to do is to put a little powdered sugar in a, in a shallow dish. Place your cookies inside the dish with the powdered sugar. This allows the powdered sugar to soak into the cookie to give it that nice sweet flavor. Next, we're going to sift our cookies with some powdered sugar. Just lightly dust the top. And 
there's your finished product. Now our cookies are ready to be enjoyed with a cup of coffee or maybe even a frappe. I would like to especially thank my mom, Priscilla, for teaching me how to make these wonderful traditional curambienas. I hope that you enjoy them. Caliorexia.